Alright guys, I'm going to document this. This is either going to be bonus footage or one of the five chances to die. But here's what's strange. It's telling me that the cemetery is at 1621 Flickinger Road. So we've come back there to 1621 Flickinger Road. And it is abandoned. Now, I know you could say an abandoned cemetery, but for the most part, in this day and age, that doesn't really happen. For this to have been a cemetery, it would have had to have been allowed to have been overgrown to the point where the wild uh, growth of the uh, weeds and thorns and trees would have actually uprooted the, the graves themselves, which is all great for a horror movie. But doesn't really happen in real life. Graves are tended to. The reason I'm driving around back here is we've already been to Edwin Shaw and we walked behind it. And it's a spooky parking lot behind a building, but the original Edwin Shaw has been taken down. Now the reason I'm driving you through this now is that this is baffling to me. Because this looks like a cemetery. You lay out cemeteries like this. There aren't homes and driveways to my left and to my right. There's just other roads, which is the circular layout of a cemetery. What'd you find? Is that a road? We can check it. Because, like, on here, it's almost showing it as a road. I don't know, it well, kind of doesn't look like well, let's go up there and see what we found, because, friends, this might be one of the five chances. If not, I'm going to post it as bonus footage, but I don't want people to think that we took the, the, the chicken way out here. We certainly did not. Um, it's very, very strange. This this doesn't make a lot of sense to me at all. And if, if this isn't the cemetery, I, it could possibly at one time have been a trailer park, but I'm not seeing mailboxes or anything. You go that way, I'll go this way. I don't see anything even... And if somebody drives away, let me know. I don't see anything here even remotely looking like a cemetery. So, friends, you've got me. I'm going to go up here a few feet. You want to come with me? This has been on... At two and a half minutes into this. Again, friends, if this is a cemetery. Now, see, I'm looking at the drainage system, trying to see how long it looks like since it's been repaired. That looks like it has been there for a while. Oh, it's back to the road again, so this is where that goes to. Again, the layout is really similar to a cemetery, friends, so I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to get us out of this cemetery, and then we're going to look on the satellite and see if Trish can find some of the things from her memory. Now, as I take us out of here, though, I want to see, I, I, when we get in the car, I want Trish to tell the story. Now, again, the woman was having, I believe, a bit of mental problems, but the story is still frightening, just the same. And if nothing else, gallivanting around through the night on Halloween is good for ghost stories. So, Trish, just film the road in front of us. That's fine. But I'll go ahead and tell your story as I try to figure out where we so, are. So, um, the story is my mom, she had a friend that worked with her at Edwin Shaw. And um, she really loved frogs. So, everything had frogs on it. They're literally everywhere. And she would always tell me, be careful who you talk to, honey. And I would say, well, what do you mean? She said, well, some people are here, but they're, they don't belong here. So it was like her telling me that, like, we... Oh, I'm trying to find this thing here. They were like frog people. Yeah, almost like... All right, friends, so what we're going to do is this, this is either going to be bonus footage or it's going to be the Edwin Shaw. And again, the Edwin Shaw Cemetery is supposed to be exactly where we are. But even though the layout here, like you're seeing, is circular, there's no signs that there was ever any headstones here. 
Did they move the bodies? I don't know, but you would tend to read about it. They can't. She's done a lot of research. You would read, and that would come up, you know, that they get permission for that kind of thing. You don't just do it because you bought some land and want to build on it. So, again, trailer parks are often set up the same way. But there's none of the little inroads that trailer parks have. And what, there's no mailboxes? There's no tri tires? There's no, tri there's no signs that, you know, let's face it. Trailer park, you know what it's going to look like when they leave. Why is none of that here? I don't know, friends, but we're going to try to get out of this park and uh, see if... Uh, again, we went to Edwin Shaw proper. Where do you get out of here? We're going to go straight. Yeah. I might take us... Well, we are, again, I could take you to Edwin Shaw, but there's people working there. It's not that scary, guys. Um, this is actually far creepier, but I have no idea what it is. It's the five chances to die. I know that. And... Uh, we don't know what the hell this road is. Watch that big asshole right there. Enjoy.